Hello everyone. Welcome to Grace and Old Paper. This is Lisa. I went to a yard sale yesterday and it was my first yard sale in probably a year and a half to two years. I was so excited. <laughs> I was so excited. It was, it was at our little community center we have close by and um, I learned that they had been having that sale for the last three days and I didn't know it because I stayed at home. Um, but I, as soon as I found out, I, I told my daughter, I said, we've got to go up there. We've just got to go up there. And I didn't have any cash. I have one, one, $1 bill. <laughs> so I raided my piggy bank and, um, she had a couple dollars in her wallet. Between the two of us, we had about 22, $23. Um, but Hey, it worked. It worked. I got some goodies and I wanted to share them with you. It's, it's a very small little haul, but I was very excited about it because it was a it was a yard sale, and there was two peop two different I want to say vendors um, set up there, but it was just two two groups. But um, I found this, and I'm going to give this to my youngest daughter. She has a love of peacocks and Asian things, and I paid a dollar for it. Actually, I really don't know. Uh, they said a dollar, and then I I put a stack of stuff on their table and asked them how much for everything, and. She just kind of looked at it all and said, uh, how about $9? And I said, how about 8 And she said, okay. And I said, okay. So I, I don't really know how much I paid for this. <laughs> it was it was a dollar or less. How about that? But what's funny is I showed it to my uh, daughter on Skype. And she thought for a second and then she picked up this little uh, trinket dish she had that's in the shape of a fan that I had given her. And she said, Mom, I think it's the same design. And we got to compare, and, and it is. How weird is that, that I had recently given her <laughs> that and then found this little, it's actually a ginger jar, but it's missing the lid, so we're going to call it a vase. Uh, there are no markings on the bottom that I can see, but um, it has some age to it. It is transfer wear, because um, you can feel it, but we love it with the peacocks and flowers. I thought that was really pretty. So I got that. I got this for my craft room here because my little accent colors I have in here are a, a dusky rose colored and I just thought that was cute and I'm gonna get me a picture of my grandbabies and put it in there. <clears throat> Again, don't know how much I paid for that. <laughs> um, let's see what else I got. I found this down in one of the boxes at that place. It's Stitcher's Compu Card. I don't know. I threw it in with my pile because, you know, us, us um, junk journalers, we like all the little bits of paper. So she kind of looked at me funny, and I said, I said, I, I, I junk journal. Um, I said, I know you don't want that is, but but trust me, I'll use it. And she goes, okay. Because <laughs> to her, it looked like a piece of trash. <laughs> but I, I liked it. <laughs> um, I got um, this little bit of fabric. It's very, I, I haven't seen a pattern like this in a long time, so I, I, this will make a really good maybe heritage journal or something vintage. I thought it was really pretty, but I've got enough here to do a, a book cover and a spine, so I thought that was really great. And this was in that $8 pile. Um, I got this little tiny piece of fabric, but it's very vintage. So... I, I loved it. I, I liked it, and I'll use this for, I don't know what for, but I will use it because I love the vintage fabric. It's really, 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 really cute. I like that. And then I found at the same booth, this was all in my $8 pile, this beautiful, I believe it's a homemade tablecloth. Oh, but how pretty is that for Christmas, huh? Look at that. I, I love these colors for Christmas. The true Christmas green and the true Christmas red. It is just beautiful. I have not unfolded it yet to see how how big it is. So depending on the size, if it's big enough for my table, which can stretch to be quite large, um, I'll use it. If not, then junk journal it is. I'll be happy either way. And then... My daughter was kind of rifling through the box of fabric scraps and, and stuff. They had several boxes of it. And she just went right by this. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that a piece of quilt? And she said, yeah. And I said, I want that. 
Look at this. This is a vintage piece of quilt. It's not real big. It's about the size of my little bit. It's a little bit smaller than my cutting board here. So maybe 17 inches by 20. But I thought if I can like fix some of the little spots, I might can make this into a junk journal. Um, the back is really cute. So if anybody out there has um, made a junk journal out of an authentic piece of quilt with its little damaged bits and the, the padding in it and everything, please tell me how to do it. <laughs> Cause I don't know. <laughs> I mean, do I, I am, I don't know. I'd love to be able to show the back side, but I just don't know how to accomplish this because it's so flopsy. Um, help. <laughs> I absolutely love this piece of quilt. Absolutely love it. And it, like I said, it does, it does have some age and wear and tear, but to me that kind of adds to the charm. It's like I can picture somebody way back a long time ago, you know, taking clothes that their family had worn out and um, outgrown and just wore to bits and cut it into scraps and made it into a quilt for the family. And uh, I love that. So, um, anybody, I, I don't have all that many followers, but if anybody out there feels like answering and you know what to do, how to make this into a journal, please let me know in the comments or message me is fine too. Um, Cause I would love, I would love to see this as a journal, but I just don't know how to do it. So I got that. And that was in my $8 pile. Um, this also was in my $8 pile and I thought it was cute. I mostly grabbed it to carry stuff in. <laughs> it's just a quilted bag, a little red one, but I saw it sitting there and I thought, you know, um, this would be good to put all this stuff I got here. So I got that in my $8 pile. I also got this book. Um, it says Growing and Displaying Roses. Um, but it's got beautiful, large roses that I am going to fussy cut. It is just slam full of it. I mean, look at that one. Uh, how beautiful is that? So I'm going to be spending some time with my scissors. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. So this was in my $8 pile. As well as this piece of sheet music. You know, we always need sheet music. And it's aged. It is a little slicker than I like, but um, it's not shiny slick. It's just very smooth paper. But hey, you know, I'll use it. And then lastly, this was in my $8 pile. It's a big book. I mean, look at that. It is about an inch and a quarter on the spine. And about, let's see here, 13 inches tall, about nine and three quarters inches wide. So it's a big book. But there are not just flower arrangement pictures in here. There are Other little designs. Little pieces I can cut out like that. Look at these. This is what I saw when I first started flipping through it. And I thought, oh, those are beautiful. Look at this. I don't know if you can see this. Look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous image? And somebody did that out of dried flowers and seeds it looks like that's crazy isn't it so there's a bunch of images in here for me to use oh, again i'll be having fun with this with my scissors so i got all of this uh, with the exception of this this came from another vendor but all of that other stuff i just showed you came from that one vendor for $8. Oh, and one more thing, one more thing. Ignore the stuff in it, but I got this pretty little bucket. This 
metal bucket in this soft uh, rose pink. Again, matches my room here. So I got the bucket, the um, vase with the peacocks on it, the quilted bag, all the fabrics, and these books. Uh, and this tin, all for $8. I thought that was pretty darn good. Didn't mind that at all. Okay. And then the other vendor <laughs> was almost all jewelry. Almost all. I say almost because I got that little frame over there, that little frame I showed you. Plus, I got this. It's a tile in a frame, but I loved it. I thought it was beautiful, and it would look good in my craft room here. I'll have to give you all a tour of my little craft room one day. I, I love my little craft room. It's my happy place. I also got on another thing that is not jewelry from that booth is this. And we saw this right when we walked up. Yes, the box is nasty. But it's a junk journaler's heaven. Look at all that. These are a combination of um, recipes on little pieces of paper to pieces of magazine or, or um, newspaper and magazine with recipes on it to typed recipes to handwritten recipes and this lady went so far as to say who who the person was that she got it from and what year what month and year uh, can you see that my lighting in here is terrible because it's getting cloudy outside marjorie taylor's green salad recipe september 78 Recipes from Flo Lee, February 79. How great is this? I mean, there are just so many, so many things. I actually want to try this recipe. It's a banana split cake. Looks very yummy. This is making me hungry just thinking about this stuff. So I am going to go through here and look and see if there's any um, recipes I want to try, but there are, there's a biscuit book. Just all these wonderful, wonderful handwritten aged recipes. That's from 1982. This is from 1977. How wonderful is this? I, I just, I grabbed this. I think she let me have it for like $2. She was going to do three, but by the time I combined my jewelry and stuff, I had jewed her down a little bit. I talked her down. Grand raspberry ring. So, I thought this was just a great find. There's so many in it. And then, there's also, um, let me see where it is. These. And I can use these for, um, uh, when I, if I make a food, a, a food book. <laughs> Boy, my words again. A journal that's you know recipe related I can use these tabs for um, tabs in the journal there's a bunch of them in here and they're none of them are wrote on but they're wonderfully aged wonderfully aged um, and then there's these things there's a bunch of these cards y'all remember these kind of recipe things where you could get a little bit of them at a time or something so there's a whole bunch of them just tons and then there's some blank cards, I think. Yeah, some blank index cards, which are a little aged now. And then some bigger ones. So I thought this was just a wonderful deal for like $2. Absolutely wonderful. I'll have fun playing with this. So there was that. All right, that was all she had in the not jewelry related. All her jewelry, bless her heart, she had taken so much time. She had bins and bins and bins and bins and bins. So much jewelry. And she had taken time to, um, you know, like have things in baggies. And so you just root through the bins looking at baggies. And they were like, I think they were $2 a piece. The baggies were $2 a piece or three for five. Well, I had fun with that. Um, this thing was full. Um, I think I got this for $2 or, or, or maybe a dollar by the time I got done talking her down. A lot of this stuff came out of it. And this is stuff I, I don't want. I mean, I, I can't even 
picture what to do with that. This is just not my style, and it's a little big for a journal. That's dirty. That is just weird, and it's missing a jewel, which may actually be in here. There it is. It's still weird. Um, it's, it's just a lot of pieces I don't like. Um, uh, the 80s called and wrote that back. So, anyway, so that, all this was in here too. But let me show you what I've got left in here. That's absolutely wonderful. Look at this. Well, number one, this cute little charm. It's a big one, but it's still adorable. A little mirror. I love that. And it's actually got a mirror on it. I will probably keep this and wear it at Christmas. It's a real pretty angel pin. I've got one, two, three silver hearts. A little big. Um, May can use them on a charm. I don't know. So I'll see thought that one was a locket, but I can't get it to open, so I guess it's not. Um, I have this. I I'm thinking it's some kind of bead type thing, because it's not a ring, because, you know, it's oval. Very sparkly. And it says Godiva. <laughs> Didn't know Godiva made jewelry. But it's very pretty. This piece. This was somebody's locket got no pictures in it. Um, love this if I do a steampunk journal. Oh, sorry. Losing my camera frame here. And it actually works. It's a charm. Nah, I don't know. There are three of these. Those are cute. I've got one, two, three... Four of these cross charms. And I do like my crosses. Um, I picked this out of a jewelry box she had and she just threw it in, I think. I don't think she charged me anything for it, but <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, let's see. This was in there. A little kitty cat. It says no parking. That was in there. My lighting is terrible. I'm sorry, guys. I hope you've been able to see. Um, this is actually a pin, but it's butterflies, and I'll be able to use that. Oh, there's another cross. It's just a pretty piece. Um, this was in there, and I thought to start with this was a rose. No, 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 no. It is a vintage Santa. Uh, I think I squealed a little when I saw that. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then this beautiful piece was in there. Isn't that pretty? The glare. Oh, the lighting is terrible. Beautiful. Little charm. Seashell with a little pearl in it. And this was in there. And I've talked to somebody that was in the military. Um, he was in the Air National Guard, I believe. And I showed him a picture of it. And he says he believes that is an old army air... Oh, I can't remember exactly. But it was, it's, it's old army. Um, and it's not a... I don't know, it's one of the levels. But this is actually a pilot's pin. I couldn't believe that was in there crazy. And then these, she had a board set up with like canvas on it and she had earring pairs stuck in it. And my daughter and I were looking and these four had no pair. So I showed them to her and she just threw them in the bag. She gave them to me for free. That one's pretty. This one's already pretty much a charm in itself. Love this one too. And this one's a charm in itself too. Yeah, like that. So that all came in this little jar. And then we were looking through all the bags. And I told my daughter, I said, let's pick stuff that I will get the most value out of. 
Well, this was one of the ones, but <laughs> when I got to the end, I had $2 left. When she added everything up, I had $2 left. And I said, okay, I'm going to spend that $2. I'm going to go home empty-handed. So I said, um, how many more bags does that give me? My daughter was piped in. She said, one, I think. And the lady said, no, you can have two. And then she thought about it for a second. She said, no, just go ahead and get three. Get three bags. And I was like, okay. This is one of the three bags I got at the end. So I got three bags for $2 at the end. But again, steampunk with the key and everything. I love that. And look at this. If you can see it with this terrible lighting. And then it's got a cross and a little birdhouse. And this little charm it says live, laugh, love. And that's one of my favorite things to say. I love that. So I thought that was great. And it's on a necklace. So that will make great a great charm. Um, then we found this bag, and I have not even opened these, so we're all going to see together. Let me get my little tray out over here. It'll make it easier. And I've naturally got books piled on top of it. Let me put something in it so it helps. Here we go. Okay. Let's look and see what we've got. It's a big tangled mess, but you know, if I have a granddaughter or if I want to do a little cutesy journal one day, I've got some pink beads. There's another heart. That's a pretty one. There's another heart. It's very vintage looking, isn't it? Um, feather with a flower on it. <laughs> There's lots of colorful beads, even like this little green one, little yellow ones. Oh, look at the rose. I love the rose. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? There's a butterfly. Another heart. Oh, a horseshoe. I love that. This little flower. Another heart. Star. That's a charm bracelet right there. Ooh, I love that bead. That's really, really pretty. So it had this bracelet. It had this bracelet. Looks like a pink necklace. <laughs> it had lots of these little bead necklaces, let's put it that way. But there's a lot of charms in there too. So this was one of my bags. There's another one. I'm not sure why there's bra straps in there, but that's going right in trash. Oh, wow. Huh. Okay. Let's see what we got here. There's some buttons. That is a pumpkin. Jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Might be hard to string on anything. Oh, it goes straight through. Okay. Look at that thing. Another button. Another button. Oh, wow. Look at that button. Oh, my goodness. Another one of those. Plain one. My goodness, I didn't know there were buttons in there. This is cool. Eh. Oh, wow. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see what this is. It's a locket or something? I don't exactly know how to open it. Well, no. This looks like it was a... Gosh, I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to study on it. That's a broken piece. There's some trash in here. Um, okay. Oh, it's a little Santa. Isn't that cute? I think I've thrown away one like that. Um, what are you? And it's always fun to get just a bag of things and you try to figure out what it is. Uh, oh, 
Oh, it's a lighthouse. Can you see that? It's a lighthouse. How about that? And just a pretty little string of beads. Okay. Um, that's a that's an eyeglass holder. Eyeglass holder. Glasses holder. But just look at all these little things. Oh look. Ballet shoes. That's cute. Um, 08 grad, grad. I have an 07 grad in there too. If anybody needs an 07 or 08 grad, let me know. Well, is that a bead? I guess it is. I don't know how you string it on anything. A little puffy heart. Where are you? Oh, that's cute. Can you see that? A lot of little broken pieces, I think. Oh, there's a Christmas tree. I love that, too. Um, it's a ballerina. I've got a bunch of these myself already. Is that a little bell? No, it's just a weird bead. Okay. What are you? Oh, that's cute. It's just talking. Broken piece. More ballet shoes. So, it's got some good stuff in it. A lot of trash. Let me pour this in my little bowl over here. A lot of trash. I haven't washed this doily yet, so it's okay. I got it the other day. I haven't washed it. Let's just stick on the top. Okay. Let's go for it again. We found this bag. And I just loved the colors of these. Necklace. Isn't that pretty? Oh, necklace and earring. Mm -hmm. Earring. <laughs> one earring. <laughs> There's only one. But I love this. Love this green color. A lot of good usable stuff there. Ready made charm. Here's another bag. I got full of stuff. Let's see what's in this one. Well, I told her she had spent a fortune in baggies. Actually has some engraving on it, but it's so um, corroded. I don't think I can tell what it says. The belt buckle. <laughs> Super value. The letter F. Okay. She says she buys a lot of stuff at yard sales and estate sales and stuff like that. Odd, isn't it? Oh my goodness, look at that. That's um Japanese. Oh, it's broken too. I may still see how I use that. It's like the um, Japanese um gosh, I can't think which name call them. Uh my daughter would be ashamed of me. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, I love that Santa. I love Santa. Oh, a little whistle. No, I'm not going to test it, see if it works. <laughs> Do that later after it's cleaned. Oh, boy. Does anybody remember clip-on earrings? Goodness gracious, those things hurt. I've got some little white beads. Yeah, I don't know about this. Wow. Now, that was an earring. Wait a minute. and 90s man you had to have been there Hoop. I just don't know what that is oh it's a bead you string and with two okay I can use that there's another one there's like three in here so far 
pretty wreath. Whoa, I thought that was a pen and something sitting next to it, but it, <laughs> it was a whole thing. That's an earring. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just a cross. Earrings. Have y'all been able to see anything at all? When I watch this video back, I'm probably going to be like, you crazy woman. I like that. Flower. A lot of this stuff is so tangled up. I mean, a lot of work just getting everything out. So let's just look through it and see what we've got. I see some pretty um, jade green beads. And I don't know what that is. It's tangled up in there. I think it's some kind of earring. Yep, a clip-on earring. <laughs> There's this piece. I don't know what that is. Um, wow, that was quite the necklace there. That That is the necklace. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Oh, wait a minute. There's another. How do you wear that? I'll have to get that one untangled just to see what it is all about. So I'm not sure how much usable was in this one. That's a pretty little bead. There's a few pieces. Oh, I like the cross. So that was one of my bags. There's another one. We got this one because of the leaves. Look at all the leaves. <laughs> I will be able to use these and use these and use these and use these because there are so many. So many. So, well, let's see. Quite the rattly, blingy necklace there. But I will be using these beads and charms for years. And I decided I got this piece because if I ever get to do a peacock journal, look at that. Not bad, huh? There, there's my charm. <laughs> Peacock feather. So that was in one bag by itself. Uh, I bought this for a friend of mine because she loves Elvis and everything to do with Elvis and is the biggest Elvis fan you've ever seen. Even the pretend Elvises now. She likes them all. So I thought she'd like that. Um, let's see. Oh, no, let's see. This was in that jar. I forgot to show you this. This thing was cool, and uh, this has got to be vintage because nobody does this anymore. This fits a tube of lipstick, and it is damaged, so it needs some repair to it because the mirror is popping out, but it has a mirror in it. So you can look at yourself and put on your lipstick. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> And then, since she told me I could have three bags, I grabbed a one bag that I had saw sitting there. That I saw sitting there? Yeah. Um, that had one item in it and one item only. But you'll know why I grabbed it when you see it. It was this beautiful piece of jewelry. That it is one of those coil bracelets, and that is actually a peacock, and that is the tail of the peacock in beautiful purples and and white uh, diamondy colors how stunningly gorgeous is this piece I couldn't believe it she she didn't care she just set a bag and I was like okay I'm getting this one um, it'll go for my daughter my wrists are too big for it and it starts doing more like you know, like this, and then it doesn't really look like a peacock, but my daughter's got small arms and wrists, and she loves everything to do with peacocks. I love the little little feathers on top of his head. Isn't that just so, so, so beautiful? I couldn't believe it. So anyway, this was my little thrift haul. Um, from my, not really thrift, well, I guess it was. It was a yard sale haul. How about that? <laughs> 
and I was supremely excited and just thrilled to be able to go out and go to a darn yard sale again. Made me very happy. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed looking at this. Um, not sure when I'm going to post it yet because I've got other things to do today, but um, I'll get it up soon. And uh, may God bless you and keep you safe.